another drive out to Southport today. I knew it was going to be a bit cloudier. But I think it's supposed to brighten up later on. And I'm going to stay at a pub in Lydiate, which is um, a mile or so outside Southport. And it's called the Scotch Piper Inn. which claims to be the oldest inn in Lancashire, which is a bit strange because we're in Merseyside, but I believe it used to be classes in Lancashire, this area, 14th century inn. But I thought I might try and stop on the way, if it's not too busy, um, at Anthony Gormley's Another Place, statues on the beach. I thought, oh, it would be lovely if I could get the drone up there, but again, it depends how busy it is. And then I'll drive on to the, my stop for the night at Lydiate and have a wander around that village, which has Lydiate Hall, which is a ruin, and some kind of, I think, St. Catherine's Chapel, Abbey, again ruined, but always good for a walk around and some photos. And I'm trying out a new external microphone because I thought it was about time I invested in one. So I'm using the Rode Wireless Go 2. I have no idea what this sounds like till I play it back, but I'm pretty sure it'll be nice. Nice. So I attached it onto, I'm using it with my GoPro 9, which I really like. I like that camera and I've got used to it now. But to attach an external mic, you have to have the media mod. Well, I don't actually like the media mod. If you're using the microphone on the media mod, it sounds tinny. The actual built-in microphone in the GoPro, to me, sounds better. But you need to attach the media mod to attach any external mic. So, I'm hoping this sounds good using the external mic. Coming up to Southport now, and in the distance is the pier. In the mist. It actually looks and feels quite thundery today. That would be good, my first thunderstorm in Vanya. I do like a good thunderstorm. Exit the roundabout onto Coastal Road. I remember this road well. Continue on Coastal Road. Me and Bri did um, a 26 mile bike ride from Southport Caravan Club site and it actually took us through Lydiate and I took a photo of some lupins in a field, just randomly came across some beautiful lupins in a field. Um, took a photograph and it won the 2019 Caravan Club competition and was on the front of the directory. First competition I'd ever entered. And I won and got something like £350 worth of vouchers. And I remember this return route coming in the opposite direction was quite a push. It looks flat when you're in the car, but when you're on a bike, you notice every little hill. I keep thinking I might, I need to get back out on the bike, but now that I'm on my own, I thought, do probably with an electric, foldable electric, so I can stick it in the van without having to get a bike rack. And ideally not use the electric, but it's there for big hills and things where I used to get off the bike and push, which was all right when there's two of you doing it, but I think I'd rather just have the backup of a battery if needed. But they're so expensive. That would be great exercise, getting back out on the bike. Because I'm 
unfortunately, I can't do long walks. I've got hip condition. So that's why you won't see me doing any B-roll walking. <laughs> it's not something I particularly want to do. I mean, I do walk, obviously. I'll take my walking poles with me if I'm going to walk any distance. But biking's the best for me. At the roundabout, take the second exit onto Coastal Road, NCN 62. NCN, National Cycle Network 62. That's what it was. The old pontins. Please tell me that's not still open. It looks a bit grim. Registration play A9RRY. Do you think he's called Harry? You can tell we're in Lancashire, can't you? Shh, I'm talking. I was saying you can tell we're in Lancashire because we're right, Harry. So, how's this for a park up? So far, whole field to myself. I think I'll get the awning out. So this is the rear of the Scotch Piper Inn at Lydiate. It's only my second time putting this awning up. Seems a lot more straightforward than the one we had in the motorhome. A lot simpler. Always have it slightly down at one side. That's how Bri trained me. It's not going to rain.
This is a great outside windscreen um, cover. Thermal. But what I am wanting is something for stealth camping. So, like a curtain across the cab area. So if anyone's any good suggestions, something that could be removed really quickly. If I needed to get away quickly. Obviously this cover is only good for when I'm on campsites or where I should be. And I'm set for the night. I've got myself quite a nice straight pitch, so I don't need my chocks, chocks and blocks. The sun's not shining, so I won't get the chair out yet. Although I suppose I could put it under the awning. The sun's going to come out. Hey, I'm on my holiday. since I put the pot top up. Oh, I have all that room. Right next door to the Scotch Piper Inn, which is just there through the trees. I read about a ruin called St. Catherine's Chapel. So I thought I'd come and have a look. You know, I've been speaking all day about flying my drone. I forgot to bring it. Fool. So from what I can gather, having quickly read on Lydia, the Scotch Piper Inn is the oldest inn in Lancashire, um, 14th century, which is just through the trees, and it used to be called the Royal Oak, and it was actually built around an oak tree. So with Covid, you're not, not actually allowed in like you normally would be, but apparently there's still the oak tree around the bar area. And this chapel, I think was built by the Ireland family. Oh look, there's a... Known locally as Lydia Abbey, was built for private worship by the Ireland family. And the Ireland family also lived at Lydia Hall, which is further down. I don't think it's far, just down that road. I know they've got to put warnings up about sort of like falling stones and that, but all this fencing doesn't half ruin. you know, the look of this place. Some gravestones over here as well.
Pemberton. I can't read most of them. Right through the middle of those trees, you can just see Vanya got the pop top up. back of the pub. Just little old me and I've just realised actually I've parked right in the far corner. It's going to be pitch black tonight isn't it? I'm not even going to have any lights. I'll certainly sleep well though. And I'm sleeping pretty much right next door to the gravestones that were that side of the chapel, but I can't see them creating much noise, can you? There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy yeah, the peace of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? I've got some chilli cooking, some homemade chilli I wasn't that hungry earlier but I am now So I've got some chilli on and a couple of wholemeal wraps Day today, I haven't particularly done a lot, but nice drive out. It was a bit grim the weather this morning, but it really has brightened, brightened up again this afternoon and this evening. So I had a couple of hours sunbathing. Just let me turn the kettle off. Where have you gone? There you are. Phone, uh, camera. I'm gonna have a drink and then I'm gonna watch some YouTube vids. I've got a few to catch up on. I've got Dub Ventures, their latest one, his latest one. I think Tanks on tour. Live for Travel, but I don't think you've posted that yet. You've mentioned it on Twitter, but I think maybe that's in the next day or so. Um, and whichever other ones are on. So I'm going to get snuggled up in my sleeping bag and watch some vids. See you in the morning. Hold on, put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all, I had a feeling but the feeling is off. Good morning. Wait, hold on. Put me together, 
Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone